Hey everyone, back in this segment. Um, so what I have for you is how to make a um, how to make an ice cream slash frosty slash milkshake um, using water rather than a coconut or an almond milk. So this is protein sparing modified fast dill. And you have to make this differently um, because this is not a blender, so it's not capable of handling ice, which is essentially what you get when you use just water. So the way you have to do this is you have to take this out of the freezer, let it sit out and thaw a little bit. So this has been thawing for about two and a half hours. And then I just break it up with the knife here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the creamy, but rather than ice cream, I'm going to put this on milkshake. Okay. So this is with the Sun Warrior um, protein powder. And then the same recipe, except it's milk. I mean, it's water instead of any coconut or almond milk. But it's got the tarragum. It's got um, the chocolate extract. It's got the two tablespoons of allulose. Um, and then it's got the um, it's got the cocoa powder. And so. Um, so let's go ahead. What this doesn't have is it doesn't have the acacia fiber that I added to the other recipes. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to mix this up on milkshake, then we'll come back and see what we've got. Okay, see you back in a second. Okay, I'm back. It just finished. So let's see what we've got here. So this is on the milkshake setting. And you see that here. So it's definitely a milkshake consistency. And that's why I say, you know, it tastes like a, it tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. So it's probably a little more, uh, a little more of a liquid than Wendy's Frosty, but it tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. Where using the keto chow with the water tastes more like a, a rich milkshake. Okay, but all of them are delicious. I just wanted to show you what happens if you use milk. Then you have to do this differently. So rather than using the light ice cream and then respin how many ever times you need for it to come out like ice cream. This one, you have to leave it sit out for two, two to three hours to let it thaw a little bit and then use the milkshake. And then once you do the milkshake, you don't have to do any respins. Okay, so there you have it, another version. Hey guys, I wanted to show you what um, version one looked like. I didn't um, specifically what happens when you make uh, the ice cream out of water. Um, so I didn't film at the time when I did it the result using Sun Warrior uh, pro protein powder with water. This is the one um, with the Keto Chow Core with water. And you see how much ice there is here. And one thing the Ninja Creamy says is that it is not a blender, do not put ice in it. So when I got this result and said, hey, this is an ice block, I better not put this in my creamy because I will damage it. This is when I noted, oh, let me just let it thaw out on the countertop. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then after it thaws, I'm gonna show you what I do from that point forward to show you if you wanna make this out of water, what the changes are to do that, okay? So I'll come back and I'll show you that. Okay, this has been defrosting for about three hours. And I'm going to, and you can see it's, it's, there's some liquid now. And you can see how much it's dropped down from the fill line down to here from what I showed you. Now I'm going to take a knife. And you can see I can get all the way to the bottom. 
you could see that, okay? So this is what you have to do if you used water. Because once again, the Ninja Creamy is not, um, it's not a blender. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the Ninja Creamy on Milkshake and come back and show you the result. Okay, it was on the Milkshake and unlike the ice cream, you don't need to um, do it multiple times. So this is the Milkshake that comes out if you use um, water um, in the recipe rather than a coconut or an almond milk or a blend of those two. So it's pretty thick. So this is more like a milkshake. So the one that I did with Sun Warrior came out more like uh, a Wendy's Frosty. So I guess I need to show you that to you. But you can see now the volume of this is back up after we, we mixed it. So Remember, this is with the Keto Chow Core. So this is creamy, so it made it more of a milkshake. And I guess I'll show you what using water does with the Sun Warrior. Okay, that's all I have for you in this segment.